Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. On this episode, I am kind of doing a continuation of when I did my intake install on the Trailblazer. And now we are doing the windshield washer uh, relocation kit. Now, if you remember, the old windshield washer tank was huge. And it, just be, it, would, it sat in this location down here, had to remove it in order to install the intake. So, now some people would probably just go ahead and not worry about putting a windshield washer tank in and so forth. But since I daily drive this thing, and um, especially in the winter, I'll use my windshield washer squirters more. So I decided to go ahead and get the tank as well. So. We'll go ahead and start the install, but first, so here's what we get. We have our instructions. We have our new tank. This is actually quite a bit smaller than the original, so you'll end up filling it more often. The bracket to hold it. This hose will be cut into three different pieces, and all of the hardware for the, uh, the pumps the nozzle and mounting it so all right let's go ahead and get started This is actually the same fluid that I pulled out of the tank, though there was actually more in it. So the factory tank actually holds over a gallon of fluid. No wonder I really never had to top it off that much.
There we go. I don't want to overfill it. Okay. All right, so I had made a bit of a mistake. Ah. Could have been a messy one. So, I had set the, uh, do it this way. So I had set the, the pumps just kind of in there. I saw this piece on here, but the way it was angled in, I completely missed it. I thought it was coming around here, and I was like, well, how am I supposed to get the pumps there? I didn't think the hose were gonna fit, so. This is what actually the picture and the instructions does show, so I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, so here's how it's supposed to be set up. Um, actually, you know, I should probably re-angle that one second. Oh. All right, so I cleaned that back up, have it installed. I. I'm gonna have to do some some thinking about this one that needs trim back to clear that bracket so I'll have to notch this to get that to sit flush um, this actually still kind of sits at an angle but I mean it's it's in so that should be fine um, I'd show you guys testing out the squares and stuff but since I was already dealing with that um, for whatever reason right now my front squirter isn't wanting to work the pumps will kick on so the front pump will kick on the rear pump will kick on no problem actually the rear pump um, it flows all the way through but I have a, an issue in my back hatch area where it's not getting up to the nozzle it's just leaking out so I gotta uh, mess with that inside the uh, truck but that's I, I'll it address that in another video when I'm going to be doing my backup camera so I'll take care of that then uh, the front pump I'm not sure what the deal is because um, it was working previously and now it's not so now I gotta pull the cowl off and get that done um, I actually tried messing with the, getting the wiper arms off but they're not wanting to pull off so I want to deal with that and then I don't know if I'll make a video on doing those or not, so we'll see. I, I may, but so there we are. So this is all squared away and looking as good as I can get it for now. Um, I maybe mean, should have had that going forward, but it, it was just a real pain in the butt getting this all stuffed into this corner because of wiring and other pieces so it's in and it'll do the it should do the job for now at least I know I can get stuff all the way to the back now that'll be fine I just gotta figure out my front part and then I will be squared away on that so anyway so if you found this video helpful or if it helps you make a decision um, I, I will say the one thing is if you do use your windshield washer tank, you'll be definitely filling it, filling this up more often than you were on the previous. So it's kind of up to you guys if you guys want to continue using windshield washers or just you know clean your windshields when you go to the gas station or whatnot. That's all up to you. So there's that. Um, We'll, we'll see if I end up keeping this system or not. But, so if you, if you like the video, give it a thumbs, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, please leave them below. And if it's your first time stopping by the channel, please subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day.